and he is the coach, boxing coach, gym coach. <laughs> That's another thing, Ash. You gotta remember, styles make fights. So, whatever combo works for me, won't work for him. It's different body. He's That's longer, right. so he's longer rangy. I'm more in because I'm short and stocky. He can't fight short and stocky because he's too long. So you gotta, always, even when someone trains you, you gotta adapt to you. That's Everyone's right. different. I want you left hook right. Yeah. So that's Albi and he does MMA. He used to do boxing as well and you can see he's smashing this guy up. That's that's Neil. I'm going to be showing you like basics of bench press. Ash has asked me to show you know, how, how, to, how to do it properly. So I'm going to be doing that and I might show you a bit of uh, boxing at some stage um, in the near future. So um, look out for Ash's videos and um, subscribe. Don't count your pennies. Don't count your pennies. Have you ever checked your explosiveness? I just for explosive power. Can you can you knee that off the ground? Yeah. Well, you knee it, but it's explosive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna knee this bit. Try. Pull it forward, easy. That's with the front legs. You gotta do both legs. I used to be able to go higher than that. So what's the highest? Nine, uh, sorry? What's the highest number you done? 120. 120. Yeah. Can you show your goal? Yeah. Yeah, and your goal is? Like is that that? Yeah. 140? Yeah. Okay. So just to quickly explain this, uh, the bar itself is uh, 120 20, 20 kilos. It's, it's an Olympic bar, yeah. Yeah, Olympic bar. So you've got 20 kilos and how much do you have here? Uh, 35 on each side, so 70 minutes. plus 20 is 90. Right, cool. Yeah, you count the bar when it's an Olympic bar, um, but it's just one of those ones that you get from like Kmart and that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the count back like a 4 kilo bar. Um, and those things kind of snap anyway. Um, your bar grip, you got to look for your bar grip. You have to roll your shoulders back. Um, so basically, <laughs> keep them down, shoulder blades together, um, create an arch in your lower back. Um, you can have a big arch for if you're a powerlifter or if you're interested in powerlifting. It's just for building body or general exercise. Basically, a lower arch is um, probably a bit more better. Um, but obviously, bigger bigger arch, you could probably move a little bit more weight because the distance from the start to the um, f f sorry from the top to the bottom of the movement is shorter so you could probably push more weight um, but yeah there's heaps of styles um, just keep your bum on the bench keep your um, shoulders uh, together your shoulder blades together shoulders down um, and plant your feet don't move your feet um, because your feet gives you um, explosive power to kind of push up off the ground how long have you been doing this, Alvin? Like fitness and gym? A lot, really. The yeah, whole life, huh? From the age of 10. Sort of a server. Ash? <laughs> Which one? Quickie Mart? <laughs> 7 Eleven. No, really? Really? Nah. You nah. did, eh? You used to sell those bloody <laughs> Trapper Pack bloody sausage rolls, eh? <laughs> Hand it up. I make it seem a little even. You know, be a good man. <sighs> hmm. So, how are you sporting? Sporting. Yeah, he's sporting, <laughs> alright. <laughs> So what does spotting really mean? Uh, just watch, see spotting your partner doesn't fail. Oh, okay. Because if, if you fail, if you you she does, then it's a big problem. Okay, so I like to, some people kind of come out way under here, um, and then they would like to set up like this. This is one of the ways. Um, on the next set, I'll show you another way. Uh, idea is, bar should be under your eyes. Um, 
as you can see my shoulders aren't forward or anything like that and first thing deep breath in push the bar out exhale deep breath in and then start ripping make sure you breathe throughout the whole thing so So as Neil said, lift your arm up. Um, yeah. Put your finger on the start of the knurls, that is called a knurl, the grip. Yeah. And measure one thumb out. Yeah. And basically that's your grip. Okay. That's pretty optimum. Yeah. So it's in between like a wide grip and yeah. a narrow grip. Um, it will involve a little bit of your triceps, but a lot of your um, pecs. You yeah. get too close, um, it's going to be a lot of your a little bit of your pecs and a lot of your triceps. Wide will mean a lot of your um, pecs and very little of your um, yeah, your uh, your triceps. Um, but then again, it puts you in a dangerous position, so I don't recommend it if you if you're not experienced. So, hey Neil, yeah. where did you get all your you know gym equipment from? Any particular shop? Only one shop, or did you get it from different places? No, I got them from manufacturers. Eh? So, oh, really? Yeah. Um, this one I got from Life Fitness, uh, which is the um, their own uh, hammer string. So it's the very best, well, best bodybuilding bench you could buy. Um, there's powerlifting brands which are a lot better, like Illico. So this is um, for bodybuilding. That's from Life Fitness. Um, Actually, this one was from a retail shop called Jimmy Fitness yeah. in Queensland. Good company, good prices, not bad. Um, all my boxing equipment I um, imported from America, uh, with the exception of that bag. Um, yeah, all Mexican-made equipment. So, cool. yeah, yeah. Um, Rogue. I like to use Rogue bars because they're made in America, good quality. They don't like last or fading color and they're just long lasting so why are you putting that belt on neil so i don't throw my back out okay cool. put too much pressure and also it just helps you breathe better so like instead of breathing in and out this way it breathes like up and out of your mouth and when you take a breath you take the breath in and it comes directly down rather than expanding your diaphragm so when you breathe like that just gives you more force to like push. Cool. You know, like when you lift heavy, it's always good to have a little bit extra protection. Mm. Um, it just stabilizes your wrists and the belt keeps your back from like um, going out and you know, like how um, it just keeps everything tight. Mm. Just safe for you, man. Last thing you want to do is like you know, injure one of your vertebrae. All right. Hey Neil, just yep. before you do that, can you talk a little bit about this? Um, yeah, I like taking this sort of stuff. Um, it's pre-workout. Yeah. What does it do? Uh, pre-workout basically, um, it's got vitamins, amino acids, and stuff like that. Um, creatine, um, citrulline, um, malate, um, and the whole thing is like it just gives you a shitload of energy. Um, a lot of them have like a lot of these things have a lot of caffeine, like high high dose. So you might feel like tingles or funny in the skin, like he's probably feeling right now. Um, but yeah, it gives you a mad surge of energy. Um, some helps with testosterone. People say, oh, you know, pre-workouts don't do shit to your testosterone. That's false, because I used to use um, this one called Nitroflex, and I still do from time to time. I guarantee it does, like, do something to, you know, down there, which means your testosterone's working. Um, but yeah, don't take too much of this. Like, one to two scoops max per workout is enough. Preferably in the morning, don't do it at night because you're not going to sleep. And don't drink energy drinks or Coca Colas or anything when you take this at any time of the day because this has so much caffeine you will not sleep properly at night time unless you're young. I'm in my 30s, I can't. Maybe a young person can, but I can't. So this stuff is really good. It's uh, not Chinese made like most. Um, I only go for German made, American made, and English made. Again, I love the West. That's my shit. So, and I trust what's in it. So. Cool. Free workout. Thanks, man. Oh, there's no 
Don't tell the stupid kid. Don't listen to me. Fucking hard. Swear to God. This guy is like the dumbest fuck going, I swear to god it happens at least every week when it comes to heavy sets. It's not like I can't rip out my fucking shoulders. Yeah, I don't wait to check your work down. He almost killed me. We're gonna end the vlog now. Albie, do you wanna say anything before we go? Like, share, subscribe. Neil, do you wanna say anything before we go? Like, share, subscribe, keep watching, and keep watching, stay man. tuned, don't give up, don't count the pennies. <laughs> Uh, that's all for today guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the session with Neil and Albie today. And we're gonna continue, we're not finished. <laughs> and we will continue. Bye. <laughs>